Okay, so today I'm going to go ahead and talk about uh, installing the i3 window manager for Nix OS. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do here is go here, system tools, Qt terminal, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a search. So to do a search, I'm going to do Nix, Nix, ENV, uh, QAP, like that, and then uh, i3 WM, go ahead and press enter for search that out okay so we didn't find any uh, we didn't find anything so I'm gonna do ahead and do Nix ENV dash Q A P and I'm just gonna type in I3 this time okay we found it so looks like it's just I3 so I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, Nix env dash i and then i3 like that and press enter wait for it to install and then okay it finished installing here all right so let me just go ahead and do a logout yes i want to go ahead and leave all right so we're here Interesting. Usually you can see I3 right there, but I'm not seeing it. So, go over here and uh, let me search this server. And the window manager is already open. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do is the sudo nano etc like vm like vm.com uh, password enter here. It's meant to be read only. That's interesting. Okay, so I guess you should do this properly and go ahead and and do a sudo or a nano etc nick os so one thing about the nix os is it has a configuration file right, this one right here All right Or the window manager, whoever it is. I'm gonna go ahead. Enable sound with pipe wire, sound enable true. Yeah, so a lot of the configuration stuff they're gonna be enabling in here. What's nice about this is it's kinda like a free BSD where it has a single configuration file kind of for everything, which is really nice. Go. Cut these out. Well, let's try this out. And then we're going to go ahead and do a sudo os rebuild. Switch. It says desktop manager does not exist. Okay, so something here. 
Let's see right here. I'm keeping this uncut just so y'all can see how I do things here. Normal, save that. I'm gonna search for a window. Okay, I'm gonna do services. Dot X server. Dot window manager. Equals three dot enable is true. Let's see if it takes a configuration. Okay, so it looks like it's taken at this time. Okay, so it looks like instead of a desktop manager, it's uh, considering i3 to be a window manager, right? Which is kind of interesting. So, I'm guessing now, yeah, if we go into like DMC now, it's rebuilding the configuration. Uh, the thing with uh, NixOS is it rebuilds too, so it, it, it builds, whenever you install stuff, it builds it. So let me go ahead and do a logout. Okay, and there we go. Uh, except it says LXQT plus I3. Let's do none plus I3. So. Fail to start session, right? Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is, let's do this one, let's see how this one works. We're going back into here. And it looks like we have another failure. So what I went ahead and did here is I went ahead and I did a uh, Control-Alt-1. Change my TTY. Go back into this file here. And I'm going to go ahead and disable that one. And where it says window manager for services. I'm going to go ahead and drop you. Right here. Alright. Let's see how that. Alright, let's go back and get in the full screen mug. Okay, I got my user prompt here. Go ahead and rebuild. All configuration file again. And we'll see what she does here. Uh, 
And then we'll go ahead and reboot the system. And as you can see, it took this time. So it looks like we have a, a fully working i3 Nix window manager set up here, right? And so it looks like it worked good. Um, yeah, it looks like it works good. So we're good. Uh, I'm a little rusty on the uh, Nix configuration file, obviously. Uh, but we went ahead and disabled the LXQT when we rebuilt the configuration just like that. As you saw, every time we did a rebuild and a switch, it adds a, another uh, entry on your boot menu. And you can clear those out. Not the best at NixOS, but it's definitely one of the best distros out there, in my opinion. Just because it builds. It's like a, a... It's more of a developer distro uh, because it builds. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Generate the config and I'm gonna use the Windows key. And there we go. And let's go ahead. Yeah, we already I already installed the fish shell on it, right? So let's go ahead and do a Nix env I uh, Nix env. Let's install Alacrity real quick. Dash V dash I and T and we'll go ahead and let that install. Okay, and it finished installing. So there's the alacrity terminal. And good to go. Now Let's say you want to go ahead and uh, edit that configuration. Uh, let's see. Config. And then uh, i3. And then config like this. Right. And then we can go ahead and go down here and where your terminal is at. And just i3 sensible terminal. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do a. Uh, Mano user bin. Uh, what is this? No, that's definitely not that. I think it's in a local. Yeah, here we go. In a local thing. Share. Some applications. No.
No, I guess we'll go ahead and do it the other way. I was gonna look for to change the I three sensible terminal script, but I can't seem to find it in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it like this. Big nano, and then we're gonna go down here where it says uh, three sensible terminal. Right here, and we're just gonna change this to library. So. Right now, now it's not gonna work when you first do it. So you're gonna do your refill key, which be your mod, which be for me Windows Shift and then R. And there you go. Now you got your alacrity, right? And there's the fish. And there's all the claws and fish. Now uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, if you like the video, like subscribe. Out.